Hello friends, in the previous tutorial, we see how we can install HDSQL and create a session. So in this video, we try to create database and some tables in the database. So let me just open this. Let me just create a database inside this. So this is our session testing. So I need to create a database inside this. This is the default databases and this is my for life ray. So leave this just right click and create new database so i give database name as university and click on ok and that's it our database is created so now it's a blank there is no table inside this so select the database and again right click new and table so there are like options other if you index is foreign keys and other so click on this basic and here you provide your table name so like my table name is student and here we can provide the column name. so just click on this add and like my table name contain a student id which is of type int and here you can check and uncheck allow null or not null so i am just uncheck this and if you want to fill some value and here is the default so when you click on this you can set default value so i keep this as a auto increment so now my second column is like student name so i give name as student it's of type where care so here you provide the length and the default values and all let me just now one more column like email so it's also a where care and last is like phone number so you can keep this as begin or something but i am going to this a where care also so now this is student id and we want to create a primary key so right click on this and create new here you can set the primary key primary and look this is a key symbol so and now if you can see this in basic this is student nothing and indexes primary key is SID no foreign key no and here you can see the code of your table so it automatically generate this code so now just click on this save button and your table is created look so you can create on this upper fields like database university contain a single table table is this and when you click on this data so it's a blank so if you want to fill a data inside this just right click and insert row so like i gave the name as a And the phone number is like something that so that's it and look the key one is automatically incremented so it's automatically come so if you want to create one more column like So when you click this and look second entry and here you can see the insert statements so this is a simple table which contain two fields if you want to delete some data you can click on this and here is delete selected row here is also this delete and add so like delete one row delete selected 
you can also duplicate this row like this and here is option duplicate so all the keys are same and this automatically change to two or three three because second we are deleted so as you can see we have this email id and email id is also unique so you can alter the table also so like click on this and again select this and right click create new unique so it's now red so red blocks to unique in this and click on this save so let me enter one more field with the same value and here i provide the same value so let me just click outside and look duplicate entry for key email so this way you can provide the duplicate and other fields also so, so in this video we see how we can create a table a database and how we can fill the entries and create primary key and unique key so in the next video we try to create a foreign key in this so if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching